options. But we're talking about probably like one of the most aggressive Bayos in the game, period. So yeah. let's see how this turns out. Chavo, uh, Chavo opting immediately run in with that Nair and forcing him to roll and get some coverage. But Egbert noticing he was getting air dodge back into the stage, probably waiting, uh, like opting to go for a, a bats within. But Egbert is getting a lot of damage right now off of these uh, defensive options. It is Bayonetta, so like e even at that, like you get all that rage kill off the top early. But he's playing very well right now, baiting out his approach. Yeah, very good lead. I don't know. You know, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see her. There's, there's not a whole lot of special stuff going on at the moment right now. It's just some good center stage control. And all right, that nice attempt at the Tomahawk there. And noticing this good spot dodge, opt to throw it out. Egbert's doing a good job right now, calling out pretty much every defensive option that. Uh, Chavo is taken so far. Yeah. I haven't Pretty seen a suspect the eye there, but still gonna live because it is Bayonetta. Yeah, I haven't seen Chavo get many like openings besides grabs. Mm -hmm. Bayonetta doesn't get a lot off of grabs, so. Job on Egbert spacing. Yeah, I like Egbert spacing so far. He's uh, opting not to blow his limit at all either. He's been holding on to as long as possible. Yeah. He is at 30%, so you. Oh, oh and Chavo catch. waiting on ledge a little bit too long, throwing out that neutral B to get him hanging on there. Now he is in a very scary spot. Okay, managed to get the instant snap LB because if he missed that, that would have been a stock. That Nero was waiting for him to, and you can't tech yeah. at the top part of that LB. Okay, waits out the air dodge, but Egbert managing to fall just far enough down and not getting punished on the outside there because that would have been an early kill. Oh. Oh, interesting. Where did that? What was that, that? He, he down aired out of the side B. I didn't wow. know that, that was I actually a thing. Yeah. So good stuff to Chavo noticing that you could do that. I like Chavo's approach now. Like, instead of going for defensive options, he's been going for a little bit more aggressive options on his landing there. Because yeah. Egbert was covering him up for. Ooh! Okay, that, that would have sealed the stock out and we would have been going to game two if he caught him with that. But Chavo avoiding getting punished. And Egbert having some good DI there, avoiding getting fouled up. Egbert does have a pretty large lead right now. Yeah. And yeah, covering his dash attack, he does have no jumps, but he does have the side beast. Okay, uh, gets him stuck. with the witch time on stage. It was a smart idea on Egbert trying to like call him out on his like aggressive landing there, but had just enough time to get that witch time off. And this is still scary. Mm -hmm. She's still Bayonetta. Like, yeah, you she know, is witch pretty, time or just a combo. Like she is pretty light, so it is like he does. He all he needs is like a good straight hit near the ledge. But it's like you said, if you get one witch time, he's going to be eating a lot of damage. Out in the charge limit, not trying to go challenge him anywhere near off stage. That's not a smart idea, but that dash attack might take it. It yeah. is going to take it. Egbert with a little bit of pop off on <laughs> at the end of the match there. Chavo giving him an evil smirk. JV two star. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Wait for a high five. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Chavo will be in a good sport while also <laughs> while also looking him like dead in the soul. Like, yeah. I got you next. It's like, yeah, he's like, I gave you that one. <laughs> very impressive on Egbert's part, though. He looked very good that first game, and uh, he was. Winning on pretty much every time Chavo decided to be committal going after him. So let's see what Chavo could do about this on game two here. Nice tomahawk into Not much. nothing real. Just smacked him up a few times. I right, couldn't really do too much about that climb hazard. All right, but Ooh, get some. Probably a Bayo combo after this. Yeah. Oh, God. Recognize it very well. He, he recognized where his DI went to, like he was holding, he was going up with it. So he was waiting out like where he was going to go at the end of the DI there. So very smart on Chavo's part. And not taking any damage so far. This looked like complete reverse from the last game. All right, finally oh. getting some damage, but eating a Witch Twist in exchange. Chavo's been doing a good job, like noticing on raw uh, side Bs that he can get some punishes. And actually challenging down air. It's complete reverse of the last game so far. Chavo has been calling out everything that Egbert's been opting to throw out. Still has limit though, so this is very scary. And I get he's been he's been doing a fantastic job. Like adjustment, he's instead of throwing out aerials on his landing, he's been going for a lot more wish times. I'm not wish times, switch twists. This might steal wow. this out. That Nair is gonna take this in. Chavo only taking 45% and looking uh, like a man on fire right now. I know I said that earlier, but I like that. Uh, I like that movie, so I'm gonna go with that today. Right. What do you think Egbert needs to do like to readjust and get this game back in his control? Uh, I think he needs to play more defensive, like uh, back off a bit. Mm -hmm. Cause he's being like, um, I'm noticing most of Chavo's uh, combos are coming from up at a shield because uh, Egbert's standing like right next to him. Mm -hmm. Luckily for Egbert, they, oh, oh, but he doesn't have a jump. But he gets the, he oh, wow. just, just managing to get limit coming through. And, but uh, this yeah. is going to be the game right here. Noticing that he was... Okay. Oh, okay, I was about yeah, to say yeah. like, the game was like, wait, hold on, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's not yeah. out yet. 
seemed like it. Uh, so both like players game. have had a game so far where it's been relatively dominant in their in their favor. Shao managing to get a stack in the last one, but completely flipped the script this yeah. game. Uh, if Egbert can manage to grab onto what he did in that first game, like then we have a very solid game three coming up. I'm going to go to FD. Interesting. Mm. I think I would agree with this, just because uh, you don't want to give her platforms, mm -hmm. but you still want a big space, so mm -hmm. you don't uh, die off the top very like early. It's it's very it's a double edged sword for both characters because both of them, for the most part, in this matchup, you want to cover their landings and let's see what shot. Okay, oh, doesn't get the banner. I like what he did there, trying to th go get that trade with the Nair, because if he pushed him back far enough, even if he had his jump, he still had plenty of time to get out there and trying to punish his uh, recovery. And Chavo starting to just play right out of Egbert's range, and been noticing that he's been a lot more aggressive on his landings in this set so far in these past couple matches. And I think he was waiting for an air dodge, maybe trying to snipe him with a, a finishing touch. Oh, a a waste the limit there. I would say. I think you know what where he was. I'll, you'll see quite a few bails like opt to go for a side B. So maybe he was waiting for Chavo to be aggressive. It was a decent idea, but you did blow a limit, so like it didn't really work out. Yeah, I see it there. He just like up his out of shield because mm -hmm. Egbert's like right next to him. All right, Chavo opting not to get a little bit too overcommittal to that side there, but gets the grab. He's gonna fourth throw him, get some good stage positioning. Very scary for Egbert right now. Just barely missing. Oh, that backer is actually gonna take that out and gets limit. Chavo needs to seal this out as quick as possible because he doesn't want to let Egbert live with this 155 percent right now. And Instead oh, of it opts to go for another up B instead of an up air, and that's unfortunately gonna land him a lot of damage right now. Letting go shield. Oh my goodness. Oh, was well, gonna go for the spike there, but uh, never reacted in time. Yeah, I think if he went for a side B, that might, might have actually sealed it out. But oh, okay, oh. It, it called out the air dodge, but unfortunately was too, a little bit too far away from his spacing and couldn't seal it out. Ooh, read, okay, but, I thought yeah. the back hit of that up smash might have accidentally hit Chavo, like not accidentally, might have hit Chavo, and this down throw is going to take it, and Chavo only has 74%, still very much a relatively even game yeah. because he does have the ability to get him off stage, but this is looking very good for Egbro, and now nice Tomahawk into uh, just pushing him off stage so he can get some limit and get some stage control. All right, opted for a little bit different combo there, but okay, Chavo's starting to play very well on his shield, and uh, this might actually even match out. Nice, nice falling up air to push him off because he had he was gonna suffer from a lot of end lag there. He would have taken a very hard punish. Oh, oh my a god! Too early on the uh, limit wave. Yeah, it just barely, it almost hit. Oh my god! It just opted to go right with the afterburner kick right in center stage, and gets the back air on the jump in, but he doesn't oh, die. Good DI. This is looking very good for Egbert right now. He does, and, and gets yeah. the up air on the air dodge, and he seals it out. It is the best of five. Yes. So. We're going to see another stressful game. This one was closer than the other two, though. Yes. Egbert's starting to make a lot of adjustments, looking very much like the first game. Yeah. Uh, but Chavo also had a lot of good conversions as well. So I think that his adjust, like the way he, he was approaching his aggressive play, he was, like, Egbert was eating a lot of damage, but he was, he had good enough defense after he got followed up to, like, you know what, I'm going to back off, I'm going to run to that other side and let you commit to coming into me. So, like, it was, like, even when he was in bad position, he was still getting good mind games, like little follow ups. And so far, both of these guys are a little bit kind of scrapping center stage right now. Yeah. And once again, like you said before, he's been getting a lot of damage off of these up out of the shield. All right, forcing center stage to get some good DI, but and getting a little bit aggressive. Oh, oh, misses the up smash. Still has a good percent lead right now. Okay, that was very smart. Yeah. Up being it super early to avoid getting followed up on the bottom stage. Wow. Oh, my God. I... It, it, Ch Ch Chavo knows something that a lot yeah. of people don't seem to know because he's been fall he's been avoiding getting punished on that a lot. Yeah. I wonder if it always works just because he's a. Uh... It seems like it because that's like the third time we've seen him do it. Mm -hmm. Well, every time has been different though. This one, this time was a uh, which time before it was like a downer. That downer looking like it might have stolen a stock pretty early there for a second. Oh, right, good defense on Chavo that just like, getting the phantom uh, jump there, but. Opting to fade away after he was going to do that because he would have eaten the down smash for his shovels. And we were pretty dead even game right now. Oh, oh he gets attacked. Attack. But and, the and the platform coming through to the clutch, just like giving him just much range. But back air is going to finally seal that out. This game is very dead, pretty much dead even between both players right now. Well, the set, not so much this game, but. 
All right, Java is late this game, so we've been uh, flip-flopping back and forth, mm -hmm. but uh, Egbert's fighting back. He's getting good up airs. Yeah, Egbert's, Egbert's starting to push him off stage, getting some good spacing. And now Opting to wait for the jump on the stage and get that back air, but doesn't get it. And oh. gets the neutral get up with that back air. That was good timing, too. Not needing to blow his limit in exchange. Gonna get put off stage, though, but he does have limit, so... Okay, did he blow his jump? He did not, so he still gets to use it. But this, this might seal might out the it. game. Yes, I think it will. That is definitely gonna do it. He got the fully charged up smash and a JV two sock. JV two sock. I was gonna say JV three. Five. JV two sock on game four. Uh, with this, the whole set has been back and forth. Both yeah. these players have been making great micro adjustments to each other. But for the most part, it's just like who got who guessed right here. Like mm -hmm. this is a very good uh, game right now. Both looking like they're on pretty even skill at the most part. Uh, most part, with the way they're playing this match out. So it's looking very good for. Even those of you who like to complain about DLC, you got to put a lot of work in to still be able to pull these type of matches off, too. So this game could go either way. Mm -hmm. Or I'm hoping, and I think it'd probably just go uh, to be a lot closer than the other two. Because mm -hmm. the yeah, other two had a... Uh, yeah, I'm not really looking for a blowout here. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying the way that both of these players have been playing so far. All right, Chavo getting, getting some good damage off of here. Forcing him back off stage, opting to not try and go for a higher uh, recovery. Does it have to waste his limit, though? Good uh, early jump. That was a very good wow. delay on Chavo's part. Because he made it, he, he like, like juked him a little bit there. Mm -hmm. He made it seem like he was going to land without uh, anything and get end lag. And then immediately throw out the downer at the last possible second. And unfortunately, he had bad DI, too. So that's, that caused him to lose that sock. And Ooh, waits at the witch time, so it gets the back air. Okay. Good on Chavo holding his shield as long as possible there because he did opt to go for those uh, back airs quite a few times. Trying to bait him to come in, but... All right, and Chavo's starting to run away with his lead a little bit right now. Good DI on the uh, Egbert's part, but this oh, might wow. actually seal this out. Yeah, I think that might be it. No, not yet. But next one will. He needs to be very careful. Oh. That neutral is actually to take it out. Okay, so it's still, it's still it's possible for Egbert. Yeah. He just has to play this perfectly right now. Shield looking like a skittle. He has to be very careful. Chavo opting to throw a lot of back airs, just like trying to control space. Like he couldn't really like approach him right there from where he was because he feel like could have eaten a back air in exchange. And again, and once again, he's been going for oh, so many up use out of shields. Been working out very well for him. And that's uh, gonna, yeah, be that's gonna be it. Egbert getting a little bit aggressive on his landing there. Uh, trying to push Chavo off of him, but Chavo was just out of range and managing to get that witch time right at the bottom. Uh, it was a, it was a decent idea because Chavo was very close, but just out of range, unfortunately. Yeah. And good stuff. Egbert taking Chavo to game five. He looked very solid. Yeah. Very, very solid. I was very impressed. Like I said, this kid has been on not only the come up, but he's been taking out good names, like good mm -hmm. players, and just looking more and more solid every single time he comes out. So good stuff to him. 